We will begin tonight with storytelling, followed by oral interpretation, and we will be starting with Derek Wall. What comes to mind when I say animal cookies? Some of you may be thinking bite-sized cookies shaped as animals, smothered in white cream, topped with colorful sprinkles. Mmm, yummy. But I'm thinking about the Animal Cookie Boys. We were called the Animal Cookie Boys. It was the name of my gang. Me, Calvin, and Eric. Now, Calvin, he was the one who wanted to go out there. Hey, brother. It's Halloween. What do you say? We go to Santana Road, get around some women, and have ourselves a good time. Ha <laughs> ha It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. That was Calvin. Now, Eric, he was the planner. He was the brain of the whole operation. Very flamboyant. No, yeah, for sure. Flair. I'm a hell of a I suspect sexy ladies out and about tonight. Blair, we need to get this building correspondence. <laughs> His plan was simple, but genius. We dress up as animals, pass out animal cookies to people when they take pictures with us. The statistics show ladies love animal cookies. So we go to Santana Road. When we get to Santana Road, Jarek was right. It was like girls gone wild out there. Sexy girls galore. I think it was time for the animal cookie boys to join the party. We were ready. Calvin was a pig. He had the pig head on, no shirt, just a muscular pig. <laughs> hey brother, which way should we go first? This way or that way? <laughs> <laughs> I had the werewolf head on, no shirt. I was looking scary. It was like a walking nightmare. He was covered in real bird feathers, face and body professionally and precisely painted. At first glance, I wasn't even sure what he was. You look like a big man pigeon. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I'm like, I'm an ostrich. When he said ostrich, oh snap, he really looked like an ostrich. <laughs> this joker was standing on one leg. His body was facing this way, but his head was like this. <laughs> so executing his plan, the plan is working. Passing out animal cookies and we're taking a lot of pictures. There's only one minor problem. The paparazzi pig was getting all the action, meanwhile the werewolf was becoming the designated photographer. I was no longer looking scared. I was looking angry. <laughs> ah! Okay, crazy people, smile on three. As I'm taking the picture, hey princess, the werewolf is lonely. Come take a picture with the werewolf. This princess was looking gorgeous and nice. I would. But the werewolf's body doesn't match the werewolf head. Ah! <laughs> she was right. My head was too dark, and my body was too pale. She didn't like that. <laughs> but you can take a picture of me and the ostrich. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> ah! Okay, smile on three. As I'm taking the picture, I can't help but laugh because of the way the ostrich is posing. He's still standing on one leg. His body's facing the princess. His head was like this. <laughs> and he kept posing with a Halloween prom picture. <laughs> so, so the princess is laughing. We're having a good time. We're passing out animal movies and we're taking a lot of pictures. There's still only one minor problem. The fact that my head wasn't matching my body was bothering me. So I wander off away from the group to go to the tanning salon. I figured if I could get a tan, maybe the princess would take a picture of me. When I walk into the tank salon, it's not your typical tank salon. The sign read, Self-Serve Tank Salon. Tanning beds located in bedroom upstairs. Please leave lights turned off. Happy Halloween. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I scared myself reading out loud. And then I realized I may be the only one in the building. I started walking up the stairs. Scared. I walked down the hall. I was very scared. I opened up the door. I was really scared. I looked inside the room. And I was terribly scared. I saw a bunch of tanning beds. 
just like the sign said. So I lay myself down. <laughs> so I lay myself down in the tanning bed to get a tan. As I'm getting a tan, I start to hear a strange voice. So I called my friends, but they didn't hear and they didn't come. And then I heard the voice. Of Ladies and gentlemen, the Animal Cookie Boys, an adaptation of Alan Swartz. <laughs> 